Yo, what's good people? It's Ocean here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. I hope it's good wherever you're watching from. It is really early. You probably can see by my face. I've just woken up. It is eight past six in the morning. I'm going to be vlogging the day today and there's a lot of stuff to get done. First things first, as usual, I'm going to hit the gym, get a workout in, then I'm going to hit the studio. I'm gonna try and make some beats and then I'm traveling a little bit far. It's outside of London. We're gonna go to a studio session with LLB and Sonny Robinson and cook up some stuff. So it should be a good day, quite busy on the go. But yeah, let's get into it. Still nice and dark out here. This is how I like it, leaving the house while it's still dark outside. So a lot of people always ask me, why do I wake up so early in the morning? And it's mainly because one, I feel super productive in the mornings and two, I feel way more creative. I like to wake up early, get shit done and just make sure that everything that needs to be taken care of is taken care of. It just puts my mind at ease. And also people always ask me, how do I wake up so early? And really the key here is just going to bed way earlier. Like I'm a granddad, I go to bed at like 10. So I can wake up at like half five, six. Cause the key is you still got to get your seven to eight hours sleep. Personally, for me, eight hours is very, very optimal. If I get eight hours, my day is gonna be feeling really good. But at least seven, seven, you know, I'll be functional, I'll be fine for the day. You don't wanna to go to bed at like 12 and then wake up at five and then you've only got like five hours sleep. I mean, some people can function on that, but it's just really not great. It's really not optimal. Right, so I just got into the studio, finished my gym session. Today, I switched it up. Usually I go to the gym and I just lift weights. But today I tried a high intensity workout class and man, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling so tired and knackered already. You already know what time it is, come on. We've got the oats with the banana, with the almond butter. I'm gonna mash this down and then gonna crack on with the day. Yo, before we get into the video though, this one is sponsored by Distro Kid. Shout out to Distro Kid for sponsoring this video and making it happen. So, if you don't know what Distro Kid is, it's a platform where you upload your music and they distribute it for you to all the big streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple, they put your music on iTunes and they get your music out everywhere so it can be heard by the people. In addition to getting your music out to over 150 stores, they have so many promotional tools that you can use to market your music and get heard. They collect your earnings and your payments and they send you 100% so they don't take any cut. You can use their promo tools to create a promo card and release it all over social media. You can even use their tools to make a mini video to promote your song as well. Their plans are just $19.99 a year and you can use my link in the description to get 7% off your first year. From upload to release date to marketing in your song, DistroKid has you covered. So make sure you click the link in the description below and sign up. Let's get back to the video. Sounds nice, I like that. Keep it simple, one five. gonna chop the edge off there and then pan it to the right just a little bit so there's some more space turn it up and just keep it like that I'm gonna keep this one really really simple let's add some drums to this so I changed up the pitch a little bit but I think what I want to do is speed it up as well let's put it to like 130 Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, that sounds hard. I think what I'm going to do though is layer that snare with a clap just to make it stand out a bit more. I'm going to use my Minerals drum kit, which now is actually available on my website. Before I was only selling it as part of Elements. But if you want to grab Minerals, definitely go copy it. It's sick. Then it's out on my website now, www.probbyocean.com. Yeah, that's hard. I like that. I like that. Let's add in some some um, hi hats. I'm actually gonna switch from Ultra Beat and use Quick Sampler. I've I realized that using Quick Sampler to do my hi hats is actually a lot easier. It's way quicker to pitch them up and down. Let's drag in one of these. <laughs> I like the bounce of that. Right at the end of eight bars. I'm just gonna Copy that, repeat that over, control everything, down, one more octave. Hey, hey, hard. You know what? I want to do like a crazy switch up. So after it drops, maybe like, I don't know how much that is, every bar, control that and repeat it. Let's just hear. I mean, that, that sounds cool. Hmm, I'm thinking, I might even change the bounce as well. Take away that clap section, move that down, duplicate it. Maybe like a drill kind of pattern. Nah, too quick. All right, I finished up the beat. I ended up changing quite a lot of it, arranging it out, doing loads of different switch ups and stuff. But I'll play you some of it. It sounds really cool. I definitely hear like D Block Europe on this one, all over this one. I really like that one. I really need to hear some vocals on top of that one. All right, it's time for me to leave the studio now and head off to this studio session. It's actually quite far away. It's gonna take about an hour and a half by train to get there. So gonna hit the train station and make my way there, meet up with Sunny and LLB. So we're out here. We've got Sunny. Hey, hey. We've got Ryan in the back there. What's going on? Wait, let's focus a bit more. Uh... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just out here. We're just cooking up some vibes. What got you using Logic then? To be honest, yeah, when I started, FL wasn't really on Mac like that. You had oh. to like get like the unofficial version and it just wasn't stable. So I was just like, let me just, just go with Logic. go to? Uh, normally two or the first one. That perk loop that you've got in that actual loop, 
Yeah. Did you, did you put like some shape or something? I got. I just got two rolling pins. I'm just seriously. Like, I couldn't. I couldn't find anything else in the house, so I just got that's those. rolling pins. Yeah, that's really just like baking rolling pins. We had a couple in the <laughs> couple in the kitchen, so that sounds crazy. It's like it's, it's, it's wood. It make the same sound. <laughs> I like to put like lots of layers and stuff in my melodies, and like you know, add lots of different elements. And then there was one where I just got like a brass, like a trumpet, and just did like really basic chords, <laughs> and like three sounds in the drums. And then that one just that one was like one of the, like one of the best ones. <laughs> <I> think, <laughs> no, no. What's like the, the rest of the it? people listening? But like, yeah, yeah. they don't hear the intricacies. They just want to know: is there something I can remember? Yeah. And does it make me feel good in any or emotional in any which way? Yeah. Definitely. And sometimes that is just basic, like yeah. basic trumpets or basic sounds. And I think Drake is like the best at that oh yeah that's what that guy's sure. got on lock mm -hmm. some Simple of his tracks beats. are so basic yeah there's some guy that sunny watches who um who can remake pretty much anything almost exact like oh a, i think i've seen this on it. youtube i think he's aussie he's all like new zealand something okay. like that every frequency he almost gets yeah you'll like zoom in on the kick and the actual instrument and oh, be like shit. so i know it's oh, this crazy. exact kick and i'm like Oh that's my deep. word. Yeah, what is deep. that like engineering knowledge or something? To know that's that. just really in depth sound design. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just knows that. I'm not a fan of that second half, but the first part's like a decent intro, but it's touching on it. Yeah. 